So I know this video isn't going to do all that well because I'm uploading it a day late, but I still just want to try this card out because I actually regretted not getting the Winter Wild Cards Daka. I did it on my second account and I thought the Striker card was brilliant, so I did actually regret not picking him up. However, EA have now released a Future Stars Daka, which, let's be honest, is pretty much... Like, almost the same card. It's not a massive upgrade versus that uh, Winter Wildcards item, but it still looks like a very good card. And obviously, we're going to try it out today. And because I've used both, I can obviously uh, give a good comparison, hopefully. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault. And there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So I picked this guy up for just over 250k and... He looks good. He really, really does. Obviously, elite pace. That looks absolutely fantastic. Shooting looks good as well with the 93 finishing, 89 shot power, and 94 attack positioning. Passing, let's be honest, pretty average at this stage of the game. But the dribbling, for the most part, does look quite nice with a very, very high agility start of 97. And, of course, he does have some very, very pleasing physicals as well with a nice strength of 80 and a pretty good jumping of 96 also with 95 head and accuracy. So, hopefully, aerially, he is going to... To be a bit of a monster. Now, I believe the chem style I used on the Winter Wildcards uh, version of Daka was Maxman, so that's what I'm going to go with again for this Future Stars card. Obviously, he does not need a pace boost, like, it would just be pointless, but he could certainly do with a boost in certain areas, and I feel like Maxman just makes him look like a really, really elite level striker, and it actually boosts him up to be a 95 rated striker, which is pretty crazy, but to be fair, a lot of chem stars actually boost him that high, but I still feel like Maxman is going to be the one for this guy, and if you think differently, let me know which chem style you would go for in the comments. Alright, game one, let's go score some goals, and we're going to be scoring them up against future stars Salisu and Kim Pembe as well. Ball's whipped in, can Daka win the header? Yes, he can, and he'll score as well. Sneaks in front of his marker and heads it home nicely to open his account. Nice, great first touch. Bamiang links up, oh, that's not great defence from the opposition, and we'll take full advantage and make it two inside five minutes, and I believe that's going to be a very, very quick rage quit. Next game, and okay, this is going to be a bit more of a sterner test. We're actually up against Team of the Year Ronaldo and also Team of the Year Jorginho. I don't know how Daka's come with the ball there, but he scored a really, really weird goal. <laughs> we got a bit of fortune, it has to be said. Bamiang, linking up with Daka. Ooh, there is a man at the back stick, but the cross just... Crossing isn't in his arsenal, it just isn't. The counter attack FC, best into the path of Dakar. It falls to in the end, and I should have scored there. I should have put a bit more power into that shot. Well, maybe Dakar should have as well, but just not the best ending to what was a good move. Good link up here. Oh, he's got it on to Dakar, who just didn't lock onto the ball. Could have been with a good chance there. Bamiang into the path of Daka, who's going to try and get through, and he's done really well to stay on his feet there. Will there be some key movement here? There will, but it will not matter. Daka fires home, showing some good shot power, shows some terrific balance there as well, and pace to break through that gap. And to eventually put the ball in the back of the net just made it a really, really pleasing move. Nice from distance, forces a save out of Mendy. Alright then, 3-0 up at the break, really couldn't ask for too much more. Bamiang does well, puts the ball through, Daka tries to ball roll one, successfully does. Pass wasn't the best, but we'll get away with it. Lol. Following the fourth goal, we get yet another rage quit. Game number three, more icons we are facing in this one. Pretty solid backline as well of Alaba and PK. I do actually really like the little hybrid that he's got going on there, using some nice link. Chance to break now with Bamiang. he's going to have Daka in support. He will just slot it home for an easy early goal. Chance, this through ball's good. It is a good through ball. It's a good run from Daka. Oh, I went for it. I maybe should have gone for the power shot. Maybe should have put more on the dink. It is what it is. Great run. Shame we didn't score off it. Bamian goes along with the through ball. Daka, of course, gets on the end of it. This time, can we score the chip? Yes, we can. Does just enough to tip it over the keeper to make it two. Love to see that. Can we get the link up going with Mane? Yes, we can. Cut back. Oh, he was ready for it. He knew that was coming. Best. Goes for the long ball over the top. Dak is going to be in pursuit. Not going to win this one, though, against PK, which is pretty understandable. He's in a pretty good physical presence. Oh, he's done so well. To, oh, he did so well to get through them two. But then the last one just was ready and waiting for him. 
Aubameyang. What a ball from Aubameyang, by the way. And what a great header from Dakar. That was a goal out of nothing. I've got to say fair play to Aubameyang for that ball. What a strike. Power on that from Dakar. Wasn't even timed correctly either and just found the back of the net. Okay, well, 4-1 lead at the break. Pretty perfect first half, aside from obviously the late goal we conceded. Dakar against anyone who plays a high line is just a recipe for disaster for the defence because he just constantly makes really, really good runs. Like, that's the best thing about him. His run making is just class. Good place for Dakar to win the header. He does, but sadly not a clean enough connection, not enough power to get past all black. This is where we want him. Counter-attack FC, because once he gets on the shoulder, that's where he's dangerous. Going to get him behind here. Oh, this really have slowed the play down here. But will it matter? It will. Um, why didn't Mane shoot there? I put an input for shoot. And a really weird animation where just instead of shooting, he just moved. And there be the full-time whistle. We end the game with a 4-3 victory. Terrible second 45, by the way, by me in general. Like, you know the saying, like, took the foot off the gas? Like, literally that. We just couldn't get going in that second 45. And he mounted, you know, a decent comeback. So, fair play to him. But we got we did enough in the first half to win the game, which is what matters. And obviously, Daka starred, especially in that first half, with a good amount of goals. Okay, then. Few outings with Daka done. And I've got to say... He's great. Like, he really, really is. I'll say this. Is he, you know, a complete forward? No, but what he's good at, he's absolutely brilliant at. And some people are going to have an absolute field day with this item. Like, his run making, honestly, is comparable to some of the best players in the game. I really do rate his run making that highly because he's just continually making good attacking runs in behind. And as long as you're good at through balls, you're going to find this guy and you are going to create plenty of chances with him he is very very similar to uh, the winter wildcards item in that respect if i'm being fully honest are you going to notice a difference if you've got the 87 is it worth the upgrade to the 88 not really you're just not going to notice a big enough boost but like that's not to say that it's a bad card because it's not like even the 87 now i do think is a very good striker option and i do think this 88 rated version of him is class like it really really is a good card especially like, even like, with all the Premier League forwards we've got available, I'm going to do comparisons later, but even with all them available, I still think this guy ranks really, really highly amongst them, and obviously we'll discuss that as we get towards the end of the video. But for now, let's break things down. What did I like about the card? Obviously, number one is the positioning and run making. It's excellent, especially that run making. Natural run making as well. I had no instructions on him, and he was constantly just making really good runs in gaps. Pace, obviously fantastic, no issues there. When it comes to shooting, he's got really good shot power and his finishing for the most part is pretty solid. Is he, you know, an elite, really, really super clinical finisher? No, but he's a pretty good one. And because you can create so many chances with him with ease, obviously goals will be scored. His passing as a whole is... It's just all right. It's pretty much what you'd expect it to be, to be fair. Short pass and a link at play is good, but the rest is just, it's not really that great, especially at this stage of FIFA. Dribbling, though, feels really, really nice with the item. Feels pretty agile, and even though he is six foot tall, he does have, you know, a good bit of agility about him, and you can feel that in game. He's not a difficult player to manoeuvre at all, and because he's got such good physicals as well, like, he just has the ability to hold off some would-be defenders. Obviously, the top-tier centre-backs are going to have the strength to hold him off, but uh, he can certainly do a good battle against full-backs. And aerially as well, he can be a threat, and you saw that in the footage. All in all, it's just a really, really good striker item, just like the Winter Wildcards version. I just quickly want to actually do a comparison between the two items. Um, I actually didn't realise this card's had a skill move upgrade, so that's pretty nice for those of you who do skill moves, I guess. Um, didn't notice that, probably should have checked that at the start. But as you can see, in regards to like in-game stats... The difference is really, really slim. It's like two or three stats here or there. Interestingly, the wildcard version's actually got a little bit better long shots and uh, one better finishing. That's kind of weird, but it is what it is. But yeah, as you can see, the boosts are very, very minimal for most part. So you, you're really just not going to notice them. Anyway, let's do some comparisons to Premier League strikers. Who am I using this Dakar over? Now, like I've said, he isn't a complete forward, but what he does, he does really, really well. So depending on your play style, you might love him. But if you want, you know, a more complete forward, there definitely are many better options available. But I really like him. And honestly, 
I rank him really, really highly. Obviously, not better than, you know, these special Ronaldo's, not better than that Flashback Kane, who is pretty damn good, but he's a completely different kind of player than Flashback Kane, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, like, top four strikers in the Premier League, I rank him above the Aubameyang, which, obviously, I'm a fan of as an Arsenal fan. I do prefer him over this Fabinho, and I'd say he's pretty much... You know, on par with the Gabriel Jesus cards, which you wouldn't think so with the, you know, price that it's cost him. But honestly, I do rate this card that highly. I will say that a lot of that does come down to the fact that this Daka fits my playstyle to a T. Like, his run making, I love this... I just love spamming through balls, so Daka fits me perfectly. Obviously, if you're a bit more of a skiller, then there are other better options for you, but Daka just fits me so perfectly, and that's why I like this card so damn much. And honestly... At, at this price and the fact that he could get cheaper during the week as well, I think he is a very well priced item. So if you're wrong with a Premier League side and you don't mind the fact that he's not much of a passer, I definitely think it's an item worth considering for your teams. Guys, that is my review of the 88 rated Dakar. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like rating on the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.